Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be swatching a bunch of Mgram watercolor paints from a handmade dot card sent to me by a subscriber. And I know I have said this in every video of this series so far, but I do want to thank Kim for sending these to me because it's just, it's so incredibly generous. So thank you, Kim. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but Lay is actually short for Kimberly, so Every time I say thank you, Kim, it's all very strange because I did used to go by Kim when I was a kid, so random aside. This first paint is Indian Yellow, created from the pigment PY110. It's a very orangey yellow. It's less vibrant than a Hansi Yellow Deep or a New Gamboge, I think, which are both colors I did swatch in the Daniel Smith portion of these videos but I do feel it is similar to either of them. It's a very pretty, fairly transparent color. Yellow Ochre is created with the pigment PY43. In the first batch of swatches I did, I swatched Daniel Smith's version of this same color, and this one is actually far closer to what I think of when I picture a yellow ochre. It's a very browny yellow color, and it is fairly smooth for being so, well, it's supposed to be granulating, but I find this one is less granulating than Daniel Smith's version. Nickel Quinacridone Gold, created from PO48 and PY150, is actually already in my collection. I told Kim that I hadn't tried any Quinacridones from Mgram, so that is totally my fault and not hers. Not that I mind swatching this one again, it is definitely one I love. The golden rust in the mass tone and how it dilutes into this brighter, cooler yellow makes it incredibly versatile. Transparent Orange Iron Oxide, created from PY42 and PR101, is a really beautiful warm brown similar to a burnt sienna, but it's incredibly transparent in comparison. This is a color that surprised me, and I honestly think I need to pick this one up because it would be so useful in mixing skin tones. Quinacridone Rust from Pigment PO48 is M. Graham's version of Quinacridone Burnt Orange, which I did swatch in my last video. Daniel Smith's version is a lot more orange, and it is slightly lighter in the mass tone. It doesn't get quite as deep, whereas M. Graham's is a lot browner. I think I prefer Daniel Smith's in this case. Quinacridone Rose, created with PV19, is a beautiful, cool magenta. M. Graham's is as vivid and smooth as I would expect from an M. Graham paint. And this is honestly one where, between M. Graham and Daniel Smith, I think the Quinacridone Roses are fairly interchangeable, but I'm sure someone would disagree with me. I have Da Vinci's Quinacridone Red, which I don't dislike but I think I definitely prefer this version by M. Graham. Both are created with PR209, but I find M. Graham's feels so much more intense and easier to work with. This is similar to Quinacridone Rose, not quite as intense, but it is warmer, so it's more of almost a coral red. Quinacridone Violet, created from PV19, is a redder purple to my beloved dioxazine purple, and M. Graham's version is really beautiful. It's sort of a deep magenta, pinky, burgundy in the mass tone, and then it dilutes to a cooler lavender. I have Da Vinci's version, and it's similar, but it doesn't have as much depth or nuance to it. Mineral Violet is created from PV15 and PV16. I am a sucker for purples, and this one is just so beautiful and it has so much granulation. It's cooler, but not as cool toned as Ultramarine Marine Violet Deep, which is also by M. Graham. It's almost this perfect middle purple kind of a shade. Turquoise is created from PB15-3 and PG7. This is a beautiful transparent teal color with a lot of depth. The closest thing I have is Thalo Turquoise from Da Vinci, but I find that this one is a bit more vibrant, though they are super duper close. 
I did also swatch Daniel Smith's Thalo Turquoise in the first video of this series I did, and it is much, much greener and uses PG-36 instead of PG-7. Mgram is one of my favorite watercolor paint brands, perhaps second only to Daniel Smith, and I absolutely love swatching all these paints and adding yet more to my watercolor wish list. Thank you again to Kim for sending these to me. I have so many more paints to go from Sennelier and Core and Windsor Newton and so on and so forth. So please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.